I know I am not alone with loving having beautiful feet. You guys, this is a scrub that you can use on your feet that will help to reduce any type of dead skin that may be on your feet and also leave them soft and smooth. If you'd like to learn how to make this scrub, just continue watching. Of course, for all of the ingredients, you are going to need a mixing bowl. And you guys, I'm going to start off by adding in some sugar. I'm adding in one cup of granulated sugar. And if you are interested in the exact measurements of everything used in this video, make sure that you check out the description box. Moving right along, I'm going to add in some Pumpkin Extra Virgin Olive Oil. I'll be adding in one cup of this, and this is going to add some extra moisture to the sugar, of course, because in order to have a scrub, you first have to have a liquid and something that is of a rougher consistency in order to get off all dead skin cells or anything that you are looking to remove with your scrub. So, you guys, I added that in, and now we are ready to move on to the next step. And the next step is simply just mixing these two ingredients together. Now looking back on this video, I definitely would have added in more sugar. That way I could have had the same amount of sugar as I have oil, but I did not end up doing that. So I definitely wanna to recommend to everyone who is watching to add in a little bit more sugar. And moving right along, I'm going to add in some peppermint oil. Now this is very soothing for the skin, but it is also extremely beneficial. If you are someone who is always on the go throughout the day, peppermint oil is going to be something very soothing for you, especially when applied on the feet. If you suffer from any type of foot pain, peppermint oil is there to help. It is also going to help to relax you, all the while helping to relieve tension and anything that you may be suffering from. Moving right along, I will be storing my mixture in a plastic container. If you plan on keeping this for a while, this is going to be one of the best things for you to do. That way you can hold on to this mixture and use it on the consistent daily basis. Now this is going to be that mixture that keeps you away from the nail salon. It is absolutely amazing how this mixture works to remove dead skin cells and also keep those feet nice and smooth. And with spring approaching us, I'm pretty sure that everyone wants their feet to look all cute for their sandals. So that's what I'm prepping for now and I hope that you are too. So I will be using my foot spa on today. Now for those of you guys that have not paid attention to my channel in the past or you're just not finding my channel, I have posted this video previously but I wanted to share it with you guys again for all of y'all who may have missed it because I want y'all feet to be on fleek. I will be adding in some vinegar into the water that I'm running into my foot spa. Now vinegar is also very beneficial for the feet. It helps to keep down things like fungus and it also helps for everything to stay intact. It can also help with the process of moving some of that extra dead skin. Now I'd also recommend that you all add about a cap full of Listerine into your water as well. This is going to help with soothing your feet and also helping to fight against some of that dead skin as well. Now after you've finished running your water, it is now time to soak your feet. Yes, it is the best time of the foot scrub. I will be soaking my feet for about 10 to 15 minutes and this is going to also help with toning down some of that dead skin. It's going to help with the process of getting it off a lot easier. So what I want for you guys to do is sit back, relax, and make sure that you have something that you can look at while you're relaxing in your foot spa. Something like a book or maybe browsing on the internet. I don't know, something just for you to be nice and relaxed throughout this process because that is what this process is all about, right? Catering to yourself. Forget the nail salon, honey. This is way better and you're going to receive greater results. And also you can do this on a more frequent basis without worrying about putting money down the drain.
Now after I've soaked my feet for about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm pulling out the scrub. And you guys, this is what my scrub looked like. As you guys can see, all of my sugar was at the bottom, which is why I recommended for you guys to put more sugar in because it should not be looking like that. It should be an equal amount of sugar and also of olive oil or any oil that you've used. Nonetheless, I'm removing my feet from the water and it is now time to start working on these feet. And let me tell you guys, something this felt so good not only that but it was extremely relaxing you guys it put me in a very peaceful state of mind and I felt so good all over it gave me a nice warm tingly fuzzy feeling try this out and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about And make sure that you check out the description box so that you can get a full list of all the products that I used in this video. Also, all the exact measurements. You do not want to miss out on the mixture that I'm using in this video because trust me, honey, it is off the chain. And you do not have to worry about going to the nail salon and getting any type of fungus, honey. You can do this right in the comfort of your own home with ingredients and things that you more than likely already have. And once you've completed the process of making sure that your scrub is nice and rubbed in, okay, and that your feet are nice and callous free, now we can place our feet back into our foot spa, which will also be listed down below for those of you guys that are interested. I'm going to turn this on, sit back, and relax. Now, this is one of the reasons why it is very important to make sure that your water is warm, okay? Very warm at the beginning of this process process because once you take your feet out in order to apply that scrub your water will have become cold by the time that you put your feet back in so just make sure that it's nice and at a good temperature now at this point I will only be soaking my feet for 10 minutes and then we can remove them and move on to the next step once I removed my feet from this water, my feet felt so good. You guys, I felt relaxed all over my body, of course, due to the peppermint oil that was used. And now it is time to dry off those feet. Now, you guys, I will say this. The little specks of sugar will linger for a little while, but you guys, they will definitely go away. So if you can see little white specks on my feet, that is exactly what that is. But make sure that your feet are dried off thoroughly before we move on to the steps of moisturizing and oh yeah make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up now it is time for the next step and that is moisturizing these feet Today, I'm going to be using the Nivea Essentially Enriched Lotion. You guys, this is the most moisturizing lotion that I own. And you want to pick a lotion that will soak into your skin, but will also be very heavy on your skin. What do I mean by that? So heavy to the point where it's extremely moisturizing, okay? So heavy to the point where it has so much moisture to give to your feet that you do not have to worry about them being dry and cracked okay so make sure that you apply a generous amount of this because it is going to help you out in the long run and oh yes it is very beneficial to moisturize your feet every single day as well just as any other part of your body
And I am also going to apply some Vaseline on my feet as well. And this is going to help to lock in that moisture. Vaseline is a must for me because Vaseline is something that helps to seal in moisture. I know that a lot of people talk against Vaseline, but this is one of the most beneficial things for that very step of making sure that everything stays moisturized and stays smooth. Don't ever let anyone tell you any different. In fact, most most of the products that you use for your body definitely have petroleum jelly in them. So I'm going to add that on my feet. And then of course, I'm going to add some cuticle oil after this step. And you guys, that is it for this video. Now, once you finish doing this on your feet, put a pair of socks on before you go to bed. And when you wake up in the morning, honey, it'll be like heaven has touched your feet. Fall in love with your feet, okay? Take care of your feet. They are just as valuable as any other part of your body. I love to do this at least once a week because you know, girl, we got to keep those things intact, okay? And make sure that you check out the description box in order to shop for everything mentioned in this video. If you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share this video on all of your social media and especially to someone who you believe will need it. If you don't have anything else to comment down below, comment what you are and that is a star. And always remember to keep glamming.